welcome to another episode of the Sim Racing Garage. My name is Barry Rowland, and today we got another review for you. Today we're going to be reviewing a new quick release system for our steering wheels. This is made by an iRacing member named Holga Buffink. And I hope that's the way you pronounce it, Holga. If not, I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can with that. I don't speak German. So if it didn't get it right, my sincerest apologies. Anyway, we're going to take a look at this and see how it works. Uh, how it makes its mechanical connection, the design of it, and of course, uh, bottom line, how's it feel on my steering wheel that I have on my Stage 4 rig. Uh, when you hold it in your hand, I can tell you this much right away, it's a very substantial piece of kit. So I can't wait to try it out and put it through its paces. So let's get to it. Okay, now we can take a closer look at this system. You unflip the little lever here, and they just slide apart very easily. Let's take a quicker look at the actual clamping mechanism. Let's get a little closer here for you. All right. Now you can see here that it's just a regular shortened, if you will, a bicycle quick release type of mechanism. And uh, it has a little nylon safety nut there that's actually pinching the outermost nut for the quick release against that bottom steel plate. And you see that these plates are actually bolted together. It's a, a unique design that he, he did it that way instead of one solid piece. And also to note here is, put this down, Let me push it back up actually, is actually the mechanism, the mechanical mechanism that makes this work so good is if you look at those two bolts in the front up here, are, they have a beveled uh, ring around them, a washer or a ring and they will actually go into the holes that oppose the on the opposing side of this in the back and you can see this has the back holes here and they actually you can see that shiny part around the tip or the very edge of those holes and that's actually a small bevel also and of course the other side has the same thing as the holes in the back and the opposing bevels on that side and you can see again the shiny bevel and parts on the back there. So what happens is once we put these together, so let me get back a little bit, those beveled pieces will fall into the holes and once you clamp down the actual lever, it pulls those bevels down into the bevels on the holes and you have four very, very nice, tight mechanical connections by doing that. Again, it's an ingenious design that Holger came up with, and uh, he's done a very, very nice work in machining these. Um, you can tell he really cared about what he was doing. This is top-rate stuff here. Um, it should last a very, very long time, and I don't see it developing any slop either in the future because of the way it's made. All right. Now, there are 70 millimeter holes in this particular adapter, and he does make a 50 millimeter adapter. That's what that looks like. And of course, it has the same size on here. Let's go ahead and take this apart real quick. Of course, this part is the same size. Let's flip it around so you can see those bevels again. So it's the same size, and it has, the, again, the bevels on it and the holes. And it does the same thing it'll actually slide into and clamp it down and again a nice solid mechanical connection but this is the 50 millimeter size so that you can put it on like an F1 wheel that's the reason I got this I'll probably get an F1 wheel in the future that I'll be able to put this on um, if not uh, I can actually get some extra 70 millimeters so what's neat about the system too is once you have the initial expense of buying this piece that I'm going to mount to the motor You don't have to buy this anymore. You can just buy these. And you can buy them in the 50, or you can buy them in the 70. So, very nice to be able to buy these separately, so you don't have to worry about having the expense of buying the main piece again. Put this back together. Oops. All right. And there you have it. This is again a very nice system, uh, well made, 
very solid. Um, if you're about, if you're like me, I'm a real stickler for uh, any slop in my steering wheel at all. And um, trust me, I've had the splined uh, quick releases that were head slop right out of the box, and other quick releases the same way. And I'm real happy with uh, this design. It looks like uh, that is a thing of the past now. So we're going to get it mounted on the motor and on the steering wheels and see how it actually functions.